DJ Pro has an amazing video mode, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use video mode in DJ Pro for the Mac. DJ Pro for the Mac is a little bit different than the iPad in order to switch view modes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top right. There's a drop down menu. We're in two deck mode, and then we want to switch to video mode. So now we are in video mode, and the next thing that you're going to need to know how to do is how to connect your TV or projector to your laptop so you could actually display the visualizer and music videos that you're DJing with. So in order to do this, we are going to go to our settings in our Mac, not the settings in DJ. So we are in our settings now, and we're going to go down to display. So we have our display section set up, and now I am connecting my projector with this HDMI cable. I'm using the Kodak Luma projector. This is an awesome mini projector. I'll leave a link down below. What you're going to need is one of these. This is a adapter that allows you to connect USB-C and you get multiple, multiple regular USBs. And then the important part is that it has a connection for HDMI. So this is how we get the HDMI into the MacBook. My MacBook only has two USB-C ports and most projectors or HDMI cables aren't going to connect directly into that. So we are going to connect the HDMI into our awesome projector. And then now it is displaying what we don't want it to display. It's kind of mirroring the home screen. So in main display, if it is mirrored, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and stop mirroring. So just make sure that you're not mirroring anything. So this is what you're going to want to see. And then now this took me a while to figure out, but we don't, we're not seeing what we want to see. We're just seeing the screen of my laptop. So the button that you have to press in video mode is this button right here. Press this button, and then it has the projector that we're using. Just look for the device that you're using, and then press show. Now it is going to show the visualizer or what's going to be on the screen. So this middle screen is going to show on the projector, and then you could DJ, do anything you want. You could even switch back to two-deck mode. And then the visualizer is still going to be going. So you get the full control, however you're comfortable with the app. And then you could DJ like that and have the visualizers going. So I'm going to go back to video mode and show you every single feature and what every single menu does. So on the video here, there is a drop down menu to the left. There's one over here on the other deck too. So we're going to press this drop down menu. And then what this has is out or visualizers. There are a whole bunch of built-in visualizers that you can download. Choose which visualizer you want. So let's just for this example, I am going to choose this one. So now that visual is on. Now this visualizer is going to go to the meet. It's going to go to the beat of the music for this deck. So that's how you change the visualizer. You could change it on this side too. So choose whichever one you want, whatever works with the music that you're playing and there you go now over here we have a couple of different kind of hidden menus so starting with this one this is the one that we use i showed you that to choose which device you are displaying on so that is displaying now so that's what that does you could actually use photos so if you have photos on your device you could use them i'm not going to go through my photo roll but this is really cool if you're doing like a wedding or a sweet 16 or a, some type of party where maybe there's uh, there's moments that, that you're going to want to show while you're DJing. Maybe the first dance or the couple's dancing or stuff like that. You could have photos that you just took, airdrop them to your laptop, and then play them on the screen. People really appreciate that. So we have the visualizers and we have photos over here. So back to here. Back to here. And this could be pretty hidden if depending on which visual visualizer you have. So this button over here, that's a drop down menu. And then we could add text overlays. So you could choose which deck you want the overlay to be. And they give you an algorithm one. They give you a DJ one. So if you want to show that on the right deck, you could do that with that. Or you could show it on the left deck. Or you could have it in the middle. 
And then here you could scale it up. So maybe if you have like your logo, you could scale it up, make it look cool, whichever size you want to fit on the screen. And then over here, you can make it like see-through or not see-through, pretty cool. And then here, you could choose where you want it to be displayed, either on the middle, there's a bunch of different spots. You cannot drag it to the spot you want. You could only select whichever, you can only select one of these boxes, but that's how you do it. So you could add an overlay image. And then if you want to add, you could add one directly from your files. So if you have your DJ logo or something like that, you could add that and have that displayed. You could also maybe get creative with it. Maybe do a little wordplay, words in the song. You could add uh, image overlays like that. Really let your creativity run wild. The next control we have is going to be down here. Another one kind of hidden. It's a drop down menu. And now this is going to be your transition. So watch what happens when I move the crossfader. It's blending into the next one. You could choose. There are a bunch of different ones. You could do cut, which cuts it right to it. You can do grid, which makes it grid. I recommend testing these out and seeing which ones work for your music videos or the visualizer that you want to use. The push one's pretty cool. Kind of pushes it over. So that's how you get to your transitions. And a really cool feature is you could press this on. This is split audio and video. And now we get a double crossfader. So the one on the bottom is going to control the audio and the one on the top is going to control the video. It gives you a little more control. Maybe you want to mix the videos without mixing the audio right away. You can do that with this feature on. Just turn it off and then we get the regular single crossfader. The next feature that we have is over here where, it's, where it says T. And then this one, we could add a text overlay. So you could write whatever you want and then have the text overlay. Let me just make it a color that we could see. Add the text overlay. Same thing as the one with the with the images. You choose where you want it. You can skip, you can make it see through, make it not see through, see where you want it. And then there's also a whole list of fonts, a lot of different fonts. So whichever font works for your style, you can do that. And then also, if you want to make announcements, maybe dinners being served or something like that, you could do announcements. If you want to say something like with the wordplay, you can do that. There are so many, so many ways to be creative with video mode. And now in 2024, people have less attention span. So you should think of considering adding a visual element to your DJing. It'll keep people's attention longer and it will help you. And you could even charge more when you do DJ gigs. So if you guys want to see my full beginner tutorial on this app for the Mac, check out this video over here. Thank you.